Hi students, hope you're well. In this video I want to talk to you about my experience of mewing, which put simply means changing your tongue posture intentionally in order to realign your jaw and you also get some other benefits such as improved posture and healthier breathing. So that's the quick version of what mewing is. So I've been doing this for two and a half years now, as I said, and it's honestly not something I talk about to anyone really until now because I wasn't sure when I started this whether it's um, a quack kind of thing or just a fad and I didn't know if it worked or if it was something that I should tell other people about. And also I think because nobody has to know, you're just changing your tongue posture, right? It's not like you have to go and shout that from the rooftops. And there was also another personal reason why I came to it, which is I was having breathing problems for a really long time, and this was making me try everything. I had to learn how to breathe, essentially. It wasn't the only thing that helped, but it was one of the things that I learned along the way. So what you need to know first about mewing is, or to know whether you should start doing it yourself, is you need to know whether you're a mouth breather. So are you always breathing like this? Is your mouth always hanging open, essentially? If so, that's a good indication that mewing could be really beneficial for you. And another sign can be, I don't, I don't personally uh, snore, to my knowledge, but a lot of people who have this problem, they'll snore quite quite loudly as well. Having rounded shoulders and also having like a, let me just turn to the side so you can see, having a kind of waddle here. So when you see yourself from the profile, when you see yourself from the profile, you don't have a proper angle on your chin because your jaw is always like that. I'm exaggerating now. And also one other thing is, where is your tongue when you're resting? So you have to catch yourself when you've, you've not prepared. But if you find where your tongue is resting, if you can feel your bottom teeth, then you know that you, you would really benefit from mewing. Because if that's so, your tongue is really, really far forward and you have no posture in your tongue and this is also the cause of crooked teeth. The reason why it is a problem doing the mouth breathing all the time is one is the physical aspect, how you look, and the other aspect is just to do with health because our respiratory tract is designed for us to breathe through the nose. That's why we've got all those little hairs there. We're meant to breathe in through the nose and then catch the germs in those hairs. And I've got to say that since I have been doing mewing, that is it's probably not the only reason, but I've had a dramatic improvement in over, overall health. I don't really get colds and that kind of thing very often anymore because, you know, I'm usually breathing the way I'm supposed to be breathing now, which is through the nose. Now I want to talk about how to mew. How do you get started? I remember... When I started doing this, I had to focus a lot of my attention in keeping my tongue up. So let me explain how it is. And this was quite a revelation to me. When if you explore the roof of your mouth now, there'll be, I sometimes call it like a cave shape. Where at the back it's soft and then as you go forward it's hard and then this bit ends in something called the alveolar ridge, which is hard, where we make sounds like t, d, t, d. But that part there, which goes back, feel around the shape there. It's slightly curved at the top. It's, it's, quite, it's, it's, it's quite wide, okay? Revelation is, that's where your tongue is meant to rest all the time. Your tongue, is designed to be up there because that is the shape of your tongue. Now, as I said to you earlier, that wasn't where I used to keep my tongue. My tongue was down here all the time and my mouth was like hanging open. So when you start 
doing mewing and you're new to it, you have to concentrate to keep lifting your tongue up. So there's different ways you can do it. You can keep pushing your tongue up to strengthen it, try and get the back, the root of the tongue up, up there. And this will, like doing reps, this will strengthen the muscles and make it easier for you to keep the tongue up there. And then the other thing is you can push the tongue back and up and not clench your jaw. So you don't want to hear your teeth closing like, but loosely open. If you don't have that much of a gap, your tongue is just going to sit in that space. So all you've got to do then is when you're not speaking, not eating, not drinking, keep that posture and your tongue's going to be in the right place. Let me now talk about the physical changes that I have personally got from it. I'm going to turn to the side now. I'm sitting in a chair, so you can't really see. But my overall posture now is much straighter. And for anyone drawn to the idea of mewing, to get rid of that waddle shape, that waddle skin, I think it, I think it works. And um, I just regard it as one of those things that you do overall in life to improve your, or you, you know, you should do to improve your your health, your well being, your posture, the way you stand, everything. So it's just one, it's just one piece. And maybe some people they always had this kind of stuff from when they were young. They know how to breathe properly, you know how to walk properly. Well, I wasn't one of them. I had to start from the ground up and um I'm yeah I'm pleased with the results you can go ahead and try it as well thank you for watching this video and I'll see you again soon bye